Welcome to my live stream reaction. Live now. We're well, actually not live now by the time you're watching this, but <laughs> we do watch these on twitch.tv forward slash bite sizes. Don't forget to like subscribe. Okay, enjoy. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the 4.5 special program. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, I'm hosting with... An old friend, right? Meowdy, everyone. My name is Julia Goo. I'm the voice of Kirara. Meow. And I'm Brittany Lotta, the voice actor for Chiori. I'm really excited to be here. I this thought that was coming out of Secret, so I was like, huh? <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also, that makes very more sense, excited right? To be here. Let's I know give Sucrose, my beloved. Give me applause. <laughs> so cute. But seriously, this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more curious to know about the contents of version 4.5. Why don't we find should be out so by cute. taking a look at the version 4.5 trailer? Yes! Yeah! yeah. Alright, trailer time! Wow, I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drug fruits consume, the more sober the Where's Mike? <laughs> I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Alternatively, a strength enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? The pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's Ooh. like it was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Excuse oh my me. gosh, they gave her the limitless Coming pill. Coming through. <laughs> Fury, your, your shipment's here. Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. I'm to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. The thundering seamstress. Let's go, Tomato. Delicate as silk. Next customer, the scene is on the case. Random Navia appearance? Is Fiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rags are you trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? Mmm. You know, she like appeared out of nowhere. I was like, Welcome not, back, not the Chiori showcase with Navia sure there. Everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Unsurprisingly, our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Huh. Why was it in the box? Whoa, it's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. She probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Good Festival. Good five times. Yeah, you definitely. can get it, so when you go to Hoyo Lab, really and you to go to the guide tab, it'll be right there talks. for you guys. Ooh, you can claim it like she in three clicks. It's so easy. And, and decisive. Like the Go kind straight of to your account. Always says exactly what she means. Mm -hmm. I also get the impression that she's no matter what of going after what she wants. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, viewer pull doc will be up soon. It must have a lot of effort for an Inazuma to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion industry. Yes. Mm. I bet her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm-hmm. You know it. You all seem pretty familiar with you. And right? hard work, but okay? Hard work, not just skill and abilities. talent. Hard work. So, let's take a moment to appreciate her fighting style. Let's. Fighting. We're going into the kit. <laughs> it's Question up mark? to me to decide who I want to be and to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. She is just a ball of sass, which is good. Let's go, Tomato. Tomato? <laughs> I did not know that was the doll's name. <laughs> I am the cutting edge of fashion. Yeah, you can see how much they expanded the range. Oh my gosh, Ooh, she's so cool. <laughs> With the animation, you can see how big I that range is. So cute. You could that was a good buff a that they gave her. The rest, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love her animations. They're so sleek. Yes. Yeah, super stylish. Major style points. Her like mm -hmm. design her itself, super super. I really like. I'm gonna add them to my own collection. The weapon design, Did you see that I do think is lazy. Burst, We've talked about that before. Over to look like scissors. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. Good catch. Yeah. Observers often consider Jiori to be an unconventional.
By tapping her elemental skill button, Chiori dashes forward and sweeps her blade upwards. At the same time, Chiori will summon the automa uh, automaton doll, Tomato, and <laughs> I guess that's how she's pronouncing it, and attack together, dealing damage to opponents based on her attack and defense. We love split scaling. Hold the elemental skill button to adjust the dash direction. While Tomato is active, when geo constructs exist or are created nearby, Chori will summon an additional Tomato onto the field. Conventional designer. She has a unique way of designing her mm -hmm. clothes. Yeah, Aside it's a, it's from a, using her own. It would be pretty sad if they didn't, fabric, didn't give her a good design as like a fashion designer. Right? Named Tomato. Her longtime personal assistant is always ready to help produce and model her designs. Tamoto is indispensable to how Chiori expresses her Since she's a sword unit, vision. her attack string is going to be a bit quicker. It's like she has an aura that proclaims to everyone, this is fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. I Chiori love dual wielding. Found an ingenious way to incorporate her design-making assistance into combat, too. During her elemental skill, Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. She Tomoto? also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stats. Mm. Wait, wait, Chiori made that automaton herself? Wow, it's so intricate. Maybe she could expand into How a new industry we, can, if she wanted. Can I just call it tomato? <laughs> For sure. No, there's no when way. When her elemental skill is held, Chiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack enemies from multiple angles. And as an experienced businesswoman, <laughs> Chiori knows how to capitalize on favorable They conditions. love the Chiori like, summon an additional points up, plunge down. They love active, that. And there are other geo constructs on the field. They love that. Okay. This is our third character now. By specific talents, Chiori can trigger special effects when using her skill or normal attack during the upward strike on her elemental skill. Tomato. Ooh, interesting. So it seems like you can even switch your active character. Oh, that's sick actually uh -huh. her little assistant seems to okay that's how they changed trouble. it up oh, a little absolutely. bit they changed she it really doesn't like oh my god plunge meta on, um, <laughs> trivial matters if someone tests her patience then she'll end the battle with a strike as sharp and fierce as her personality <laughs> I, I did not actually see that professional designer, previous to now really fun to watch in combat for sure Chiori doesn't think that fashion stops at appearances. It also needs to serve a functional purpose. Hmm. When Chiori the dolls are literally just party, staring in the background menacingly. Of characters are wearing a unique outfit or a. I'm sorry, what? After unlocking the talent tailor made, Chiori will gain different effects depending on the next action you take within a short duration. After using her elemental skills upward sweep, um, the Anwitan doll. Okay, so that's how she get her geo infusion. What the? What is this? Wing glider. The whole team will have their movement speed increased. That's hilarious. Are you kidding me? Wait, I'm sorry. It or a non-default references. It also needs to serve a functional purpose. I need to relive When Chiori is in your active party and any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider, the whole team will have their movement speed increased. Mm. Are they enabling? Is this pay to win? That's what makes I mean, they're a four star, designer. four star drips, Our travels obviously. Will definitely be smooth and gliders are a reputation, and but you know what I mean. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh, Chiori tends to run into a lot of trouble. Oh. It might be because of her blunt personality, but uh. unexpected problems often arise. No matter how 100 percent uptime just by them. using a non-default glider. I'm sure that a she is fashion impact like that's so funny has her own methods of getting herself out of those situations quickly <laughs> it's possible chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision she isn't afraid to go after what she wants and i like her gloves just made her i like gloves successful. that like look like chiori gloves. will do anything to make sure that not like half, brand half gloves you know what i mean all of to that so she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure such as participating in Fontaine Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, Fontaine Fashion Week, just like Paris Fashion, Fashion Week. Week. Chiori's story quest, the Cesoria chapter, will become available in version 4.5. Travelers will be able to accompany Chiori wow. as she confronts unexpected challenges during Fontaine Fashion Week. How curious. What kind of challenges are they? For the movement we'll bonus, imagine. But I'm sure that Kirara will be there to help Chiori. And equipped by location, smart. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of interactions they'll have. <laughs> I should mention that Chiori also designed Kiara's outfit. Oh, so Kiara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh -uh. If you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure. They're blaming the, like, 
we talk about like an animation power creep and just like outfit power creep just like whatever i feel like their excuse is because she already designed everything <laughs> now i wanted to note like she's got a very distinct like inazuma japanese vibe to her but there's some subtle things in in her actual design that are very french sure to and her story quest when it becomes i think that's available. pretty unique I think that's cool. actually travelers won't just be spending time with yuri lynette's hangout event will also be available in version oh my gosh 5. it's been so long After travelers complete her quest it took a special reward. five patches the fatometer before lynette got her hangout wow awesome. oh this is a pretty interesting tool you can draw a random number from a hat when you interact with the fatometer so if travelers are ever stuck on a decision, they can use the fatometer as an interesting solution. Ooh. Yeah, if you're farming for artifacts Strukos or advanced materials in co-op mode, neither does Yanfei though. But Yanfei gets people like people you know want to use the, the main quest, character. So. Mm. But cool you like can that. decide a winner by drawing a random number with the fatometer. It seems pretty convenient, right? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially if you're as easily overwhelmed and indecisive as I am. <laughs> if you have a lot Relatable. of content to explore then you can even use the fatometer to decide where you should start. It could save you from going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. How about we try the fatometer and see which number it gives us? Oh, me first. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Have we decided what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, how about this then? Whoever draws the largest number gets to introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. I already got to introduce Chiori. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right, I'll go. Oh, oh my yes. God, poor Sucrose. Oh, my turn. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> well, it seems like Zach is the one. Rigged. Take it away, big man. Let's Rigged. go. Yeah. <clears throat> We'll have event wishes Ito, from Chiori Ito. and Ito in the first half of version 4.5. It's been a long 5. time, brethren. The new five-star sword, Uraku Misugiri, will be featured on the weapon event banner. Uraku. There's a small spoiler for you. Oh? The new five-star sword comes with a defense bonus. <gasps> it is the Geo version. If, if Miss Splitter and Haran had a baby and it looked like it was Geo, this is exactly what the weapon would look oh, like. So it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. Might also work for Albedo. <laughs> That's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Nervalet and Cosmo will also rerun Nerve. in the second half of version 4.5. The nerve. Be sure to check them out if either of them interest. There is like, I'm sorry, this is like the superior banner half. Like it's not even close. You. Absolutely oh, adore. That's not all. Both it of the geo like units, but this is like about a such a more, such wish. a stronger half. The you know what I mean? Wish. Uh, Ooh! Ah! Who saw this coming? Wow! Okay, but actually, I see Hunter's Path. Okay, so all of these can be chosen as your designated five stars. New event wish, chronicled wish, now available. So five star characters. All of these can be chosen as your designated five star character. And same with these weapons. So that's why it's been a hot minute. That's why it's been a hot minute since Hunter's Path hasn't seen the light of voice. Oh. that? Yeah. Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from version 4.5, the Chronicled Wish. The Chronicled Wish banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. They'll also be able to obtain weapons such as Hunter's Path and Wolf's Gravestone. Whoa. No way. Ah, wow. Hunter's Path mentioned, hmm? It makes more sense to have it split up where there are limited characters in one section and the standard characters in another section. Do, and, and I would say same thing goes for weapons and things like that. Well, every character that has ever been moved to standard has like they have told us in the past that it was going to happen. Oh, well, that's cool. Very cool. Super cool. Wait, if so many characters and weapons Especially are if you going to be on the same banner, people it swipe. It's hard to pull for exactly who you want or what you want. Nope. You can chart a specific course for the character or weapon that you want. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five star character, Whatever Wait for sure, absolutely. The the most the thing that's looking the most enticing right now is Hunter's Path. Like on just out of this this sheet alone, 
but also like I've been wanting Albedo for a long yeah, time. The huh. same is true for weapons. Probably get Albedo. I'll probably get Chiori's weapon for Albedo. Seems like a great opportunity for travelers and then to make Sag up Hunter's path. And certain characters and weapons that they wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one thing that I have to clarify. Oh. These new oh, banners yes, will only feature five-star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Gotcha. So they're doing it where it's been three. They've had three banners in total. Oh. These new banners will only feature five-star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Mm -hmm. Those are for limited characters, obviously. Well, I mean, maybe like the the ran the random <laughs> gutching banner <laughs> once upon a time because if they're gonna do this or something like uh, Inazuma and Leeway, things like that, that they will move the character to a standard pool. True, but more details about the chronicled wish banner could be its own entity, right? In an official announcement, be sure to keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Also, version 4.5 will introduce a training guide system to make it easier for new travelers. For Mona, to I know that. this is like the. We'll provide more details. This is the only way you're getting Mona this year, like guaranteed. Like, because <laughs> you can, even if you lose, you can still keep going. <laughs> That's insane. Well, well it's because the it's because there's okay. so many we characters now, guys. The event, right? Of the program. Let's take a short that break while we display the second. It's hard to code. give awesome. characters. Sounds like a plan. Ooh all of them like adequate reruns especially because they usually like to give the newer characters like a rerun within like nine months of their first one they usually do that archons is almost always four patches after with the exception of maybe like an extra patch depending on what's going on now is it three reruns or three runs in general right Yelan? Yelan's had Welcome back to the version 4.5 special in total? program. Let's move on to the next bit of content. Ooh. Let me see. Shinra's only had two. Uh, Yelan's had three. Uh, yeah, because Yelan had uh, one recently. Hmm. Not so long Judging ago. From the she was with the, uh, the color Linny. The liquid, I'm guessing that the bottle has something to do with alchemy. And 3.5? Yeah, so Shenha won't be, but likely Shenha will probably be soon. Is likely. Bingo. Huh. But probably not until there's... Next. I mean, they might not run her with a crowd character, but they might. In Mondstadt. It's an alchemy event. Yay. Yes. A new pole arm. Dialogues of the Desert Sages. Exalted Earth. The city of Interesting looking pole arm. To develop. Its leaders are busy with planning for its future. The Knights of Favonius have always been conducting Gina's alchemy on the research. standard banner. Yes, Gina is on the standard banner. The results. Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion Gina's been on the standard banner since 1.0. The people of Mondstadt can learn more about alchemy, and the Knights but can But Kaching was on the standard needs. banner and got a run. Everybody wins. Wait, that sounds <gasps> super exciting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You think it's a Candace-style pull arm? Candace looks so good with the, the potion shop during this she event. She does. Oh, and what'll that look like? In the Alchemical Ascension event, Travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to increase weapon? the shop's revenue and expand their business. So it's a man. The last Mondstadt pull arm we got was Missive Winspear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Travelers who build up their revenue and run the shop smoothly will be able to earn various rewards. Oh, These include Prima gems and a four-star pole arm. It has. It looks like a medical sages. weapon. Nice. <laughs> like it's got the snakes Travelers that remind me of. Travelers can also look forward to meeting familiar companions at the shop. Um. Travelers can scale Medicine? their business even faster if they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Alakino's like kit. Oh, hmm. sounds pretty. Maybe it's neat. HP oriented. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> me too. That's all I have to announce about this Kingdom event. Kingdom Hearts. What's the next bit of news? Ganyu would be available. Yeah, Ganyu's had a ton of runs. Ganyu's been around for a long time. I feel Ganyu's been around like for a while. we don't even need to introduce this one. Everyone can understand that our upcoming content is about cats. <sighs> It's right. Like I've returned home. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's already gotten in the character. Hey, ZZ Vector, welcome hey, in. Wait, wait a second. Sucrose also has animal ears, right? Hmm. Well, she doesn't have a You <laughs> can tail, ask for it, true. Oh, so Sucrose. I think they'd get along. Cat. No comment. Wait, really? She's not? <laughs> did they show the four stars? They usually We've don't this early, did they? It's the next bit of news. If they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Oh, hmm. Sounds pretty. familiar companions at the claim more supremacy are you having trouble sleeping beto oh. 
Yeah, that's going to be... Travelers can all I'm going to be people rushing to get also to this part. Also forward to meeting familiar companions at the shop. Travelers can scale their business even faster if, if they fulfill these they know what we, Dude, they know what we want. Customers requirements. Oh. Hmm. They know what we want. Sounds pretty neat. <laughs> I'm hyped. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's all I have to announce about this event. What's the next bit of news? It was awful. Against it with the controller is so hard for me, personally. It just, it's a, it's a... I it feels feel weird to play like on controller. We don't even need to introduce this one. Everyone has weapon. That our Syphos supremacy. That's all I gotta say. I don't think there's. Now that being said, trying to get a four star on a weapon banner is crazy. But Syphos should hopefully be here soon. Coming content is The no new caps. fan fix. You're so oh, right. The like king, the king of fandom is gonna go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Julie has already gotten in the character. Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. Sucrose also has animal ears, right? In the Chronicle banner? She doesn't have a tail, though. So I also has a four star, though, so right? So Sucrose isn't part cat? No comment. Wait, so really? she's not? <laughs> Weren't they only trying five stars? We've completely gone off topic. Let's get back to introducing the most important event, the Feline Fortress Fertacy. The Traveler and Paimon have encountered all sorts of strange creatures during their journey through Tavat, but this time, They've decided to take some time to visit the familiar cat's tail. Ah, that makes sense. We could keep her up Since at night, Ning Wong. So <laughs> There's no better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with some cuddly cats. Yeah, yeah this is a cat patch. That. Unite! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> to so be true. precise, this event doesn't actually take place at the cat's tail. Oh. I can't believe my character quiz results is Kirara. A new space for the cats to play to their heart's content. <laughs> Travelers simply need to set up fluffy feline homes for the cats, satisfy specific targets. We're decorating for and cats. Provide the cats with their favorite food. <laughs> Only then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the throne of Meower. Uh, playing with oh, cats so this can is. Be a little oh, tricky. really? They'll get angry if you do something that makes them uncomfortable. Just do your best. This is us being able to pet the, pet the animals in the game. Good friends with all there a problem? The no, I'm just surprised that that's who it was. A special friend. Yep. And it seems like you're already a very good friend to the cats. Hey, in the new banner. You know what all this cat talk reminds me of? Hmm? Card games. <laughs> in Tibet, they're pretty closely associated. Oh, they added. Right? Dude, I bet I you knew the Let's Cards insane. Definitely see travelers returning to the cat's tail to play some genius invocation TCG after playing with all those cats. I bet it's play insane. With the cats, play some cards. Play with the cats. Play some cards. Suddenly, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> new card where? You might be in trouble then. Probably Version next update if, I, if we had to guess. More new cards, events, and challenges to Genius Invocation TCG for all travelers. Aside from playing with cats Cinnabar, I know I feel you. Card games, the developers also prepared some challenges that will give travelers the opportunity to show up their skills. Ooh. In version 4.5, Remote cannon. travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Whoa. Wow. Sure seems like there are a lot of geniuses in Fontaine. I wonder if that place has so many cool inventions. This genius so inventor cool. will lend the traveler a remote cannon that he invented <laughs> to take down going against the grain. <laughs> rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down slimes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. not like an actual <laughs> fighting event. This game kind of reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh, yeah. 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 Totally. So, in this event, travelers will remotely operate a turret to fire elemental shells at an endless horde of slimes. <laughs> Try to defeat as many slimes as you can by triggering TCG. elemental reactions. The more points you earn, we will, the more rewards We will that have you like a yes, an enticing rewards. TCG tournament. Special equipment will also appear on the field. This if community is way too competitive and the prize is going to be way Sweet. the prize okay, will be too our enticing. Next event involves <laughs> a mysterious concoction called the Phase potion. We've had it oh, cooking for a while. That's something that Jami developed, right? If I remember correctly, he's a researcher from the. <laughs> Imagine Dasha. being reincarnated as a slime, a right? I'm starting that anime probably to tonight. With his thesis? Just to get yep. thrown uh, into a game like this, get blasted by a cannonball. And he's waiting for someone to test them out. Hmm. 
In previous challenges, you had to wait for the potion oh. to take effect. Oh! This time, you know what? will automatically enter time dilation mode when you enter the challenge arena. When uh, you can even take pictures when this mode is active. When this was this was Eight. early Sumeru, mm -hmm. this came out. Time will resume when you move. The photos that people were doing for this were You'll freaking insane. People people were going like mm -hmm. hardcore to get yep. some really time dope will photos. Stop as long as you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? I'm sure that <laughs> now I love photography. I feel like cool that's pretty pa characters. apparent if you guys yeah, know. <laughs> absolutely. Travelers but... will also need to focus on accumulating phase force during combat. Once you have enough of it, you'll be given an advantage that will help you complete the challenge. Awesome. Ooh. Also, the Nahida's Leyline so cute. Overflow event will be returning in version 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Yeah. Well, it was VR, yeah. All the Genji VR would actually be. Uh, they have so much potential to do something like to do something like so sick with VR, right? Like a different level of VR. Next up we have like just like a whole different level of VR. Second. We've oh. just announced the bi like the big thing this patch was the triple banners. That was the big thing this patch that they were going to talk about. With Nahida? I think it was released with Nahida. Yeah. Face Scooby. To me's pigeons. You if you go to the desert and you take out all of the They look like kind of like snake things. They give you mysterious meat. You can just use that to make all different kinds of stuff. The whole 4.5 update. I would guess so. I would guess Welcome so. Welcome back. In addition to the new events in version 4.5. The developers also planned a few system optimizations. Let's take a look. Yeah. After version 4.5, travelers will be able to view on a character's soon? talent upgrade materials on the character. For Sumeru's, yeah, probably. He'll be, he'll, he'll be he'll be available. Hopefully, this helps everyone imagine. understand what materials they need in order to improve a character's skills. Remember the new training guide that we mentioned wait, earlier? Wait, 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 wait. After version 4.5. Travelers will be able to view a character's talent upgrade materials on the character talent interface menu. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Hopefully this helps everyone understand what materials they need in order to improve a character's skills. Okay, but like, I mean, I don't know if that's going to help us understand what they need to improve their skill, but like, hopefully that means people will be more inclined to read the character's skills. Yeah, <laughs> I think we can all agree. <laughs> That I, I like more people need to read the talents. <laughs> okay. Remember the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? That's also a new feature that's coming to version 4.5. Travelers who are adventure rank 12 or higher and have completed the quest, Welcome to the Adventurers Guild, will be able to refer to this guide by accessing the Paimon menu. Interesting. Interesting. Or pause menu. This guide will provide enhancement goals and suggestions based on the le levels, weapons, artifacts, and talents of your, your characters. It also takes your maximum world level into account. Hopefully, this guide will be helpful. Catching strays? Absolutely not, you guys. My community yep. is very, helpful very aware. Who are okay. New to, to that. I am like, like I pride myself every day in having such like, like. You guys are just like you're smart, capable human beings, okay? So and I pride myself on having a badass, like I'm sure that travelers will aware, adept community, okay? <laughs> For sure. Exploring all those possibilities is part of the fun. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so far, we've just been covering the in-game con Whoa! content. Whoa! But we also have some external news to share. During version 4.5. Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Discovery Channel to launch benefit events that. What? Actually, I just understood really what the heck was going on. They're doing Discovery Channel stuff. Conservation. Genshin That's a collab I did not see coming. But actually, like, really we'll cool. I love the Discovery Channel. With all the travelers out there. Wow. So <laughs> aware, such aware. A cool collaboration. <laughs> Sweaty yeah. tryhards for sure. <laughs> During version 4.5, travelers. That's why I know the TCG the event's not going to be boring. <laughs> OST album, Jadeite Redolence. Oh man, the album Attila, they were two oh, discs, man. which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo mix team. You learn here, true, exactly, music exactly. This is a very 4. educational 4. experience. It even includes Always the happy music to help. featured in the Lantern Right Festival and Shenyun's story quest. <laughs> yes, so cool. I can't wait. 
<laughs> piece of the bond, but I have we to take that screenshot of Oracle's show. message. Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start screenshotting my favorite so messages in chat and like just really make it did. into a coffee okay, table book. Is anyone else I'm doing it. Excited for the cat cafe? Yes. I'm doing yes. it. Yes, obviously, yes. immediately, 100%, 110%. It'll be a long-term project, really but I'm doing it. For everyone to meet Chiori. I mean, yes. like they met her, yes. but Absolutely. I want them to like meet her, like get to know her. Yes. yes. See her cool sword scissor attack. So cool. Yes. Right. I mean, I'm Lisa a little looks biased, so but, cute know. here. I mean, and I think that's fair. This is great <laughs> artwork of Lisa. Thank you, thank you, I will probably end up spending a lot of time on the road. By the book, I think it would be so cool. Like it'll uh, it'll be like part yes, of like the limited merch shops I'll end up doing like slimes. periodically destroy throughout life. Slimes. I will. Kind of just roll with it then, huh? <laughs> Their energy. Yeah, this <laughs> this cast did to. feel like not <laughs> as so energized good. as some of the other casts. Thanks for coming, guys. Bye. I get I get the vibe of two introverts and two extroverts. That's kind of the vibe I got. Not gonna lie. Overall, things things to be looking forward to. Triple banners. Um do we think that they're gonna change any of the uh, any of that? We'll have to see. Um it'll be interesting for sure. My viewer poll sign up documents are going to like they're gonna be exponentially like more complex than they are like already. So that's going to be unique. Um, I'll make sure that like all that information is kind of available. Like to you guys to be able to pick and choose from vice versa. I am interested to see how it goes. Like I think we'll be able to like get a good idea of how the community is feeling about it. At least my community probably over the next couple of patches. Like I think I'll have a solid idea before Natlin obviously. But um, it'll be interesting to see like are people just going for the the current banners that are up at the time um are, are people going to be going for these banners me personally i've been wanting a hunter's path rerun for a long time and i'm like that that's what i'm most excited for for sure and i think people can say the same thing about bacon and dia's weapon and so that's gonna be pretty neat for those who have been wanting a standard a standard character that haven't gotten that character in like years this is definitely a great opportunity your bad RNG, fear not. I feel like they've definitely seen the Mona content and they've answered, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, aside from that, like Tiori is definitely someone I'm not gonna be pulling right now. I'd like to see how everything looks. Like maybe she's going to be a unit that is a little bit better in the future. Should there be more characters that produce constructs that are maybe not just like, I don't know if it has to be, does it have to be a geo construct? If so, Maybe there will be more Geo units in Nalan, but I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to probably pull her weapon for Albedo because my stupid ass didn't get Cinnabar, even though I was playing at the time. Never forget. R.I.P. So I'll probably be doing that. Um, I'm kind of sad though. Like I'm pulling the, I'm not pulling for the weapon because of drip purposes because I think it was a little bit of a lazy design. I do think that I'm going to have a cracked Albedo though. So there's that. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think overall it's kind of like a dead patch. I think that there is, like, I'm, I'm, okay. Dead patch minus Eula and Beto. I will be looking forward to that, okay? <laughs> looking forward to that very much. And then, I don't know. I mean, like, there's not much to really talk about. Like, I wish that the, more of the fighting events were actually more like we got to fight. Um, I'd like to see more events that are, where we get to tailor what we get to do and it's not just kind of like given to us. Like I wish we had more control over some of the things that we got to do in the event. We're one step closer to our Lakino. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the passive of that new that new free pole arm. That'll be interesting. I feel like it's gonna have an HP passive because of like the medical logo vibe that I got to it. Let me see. It looks like this. Like that's exactly what it looked like. Like that's what that's what I saw right away when I saw the weapon, which makes me think that maybe it has an HP passive to the weapon. My, my me using my medical field knowledge in Genshin Impact. <laughs> but um, like aside from that, I think 4.6 is gonna be probably a juicier patch. So we'll have to stay we'll stay tuned. That being said, the patches that are kind of going on right now in their sister games, right? Like Honkai Impact Part Two. 
like the brand new release of the new region and like the whole big like the story going on right now like we're basically getting like the equivalent of our conquest for Penacony and star rail and of course part two just dropped for honkai impact so i don't know if that's something that they're taking into consideration maybe they're just like i'd love to see a percentage of characters that are playing both games all three games like what, what's the player rate i feel like there's a lot of people who are just genshin gamers and maybe don't venture out into you know there are other games and people who probably come to Genshin after playing Honkai Impact and vice versa, whatever. So I don't know if that's something they're taking into consideration, but like, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I guess we say we say thanks for watching. Bye YouTube. And then we play like little outro music.